years at the helm of the Mary Rose. Very impressive, Captain Davies. Very impressive. Thank you, Mr. Villers. May I ask why you left the Mary Rose? The vessel was sold to another owner, and that owner refused to honor my contract, so I left. As simple as that? Either a man keeps his word to me, or he does not. The owners of the Mary Rose did not. There was nothing further to discuss. Well, Captain, your credentials are fine ones. The best I've seen. Good enough to lay any doubts to rest. Captain Davies, your vessel, sir. Lord Ligonier? The same. She'll be seaworthy by the end of the month. And her cargo will be? A tobacco from here to the mother country. Hardware of various sorts from England to the Gambian coast. There to pick up any available spices. Uh, what need of the hardware, may I ask? Captain, our main cargo will consist of slaves. We'll be taking on slaves. Welcome aboard. Took on 250 pair of wrist shackles. 250, yes. Go on. Same number neck rings, sir. 250 neck rings. Chains and shackles to outfit properly. Yes. Two dozen thumb screws. Thumb screws. Aye, sir. Are those necessary, Mr. Slater? They've an advantage to them, sir. You're looking to punish a nigger, especially a young nigger bitch. That's one way of doing it without marring the skin and knocking down the purchase price. Mr. Slater, have you ever seen a thumb that's been subjected to a thumb screw? Oh, yes, sir. Many a times. But you see, Captain, a comely nigger bitch is rarely purchased for the way her thumbs look. Thumb screws two dozen. Last item. Two branding irons marked double L. The Lord Ligonier. All right, Captain. Necessary. We anchor tomorrow, Captain? No. We'll stay dockside for two more days. I've always preferred to set sail on the Sabbath. Seems the Christian thing to do. All right, Captain. Whatever you say. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Slater. on six months. How are you? Six months older, not a bit wiser, Mr. Gardner. Like to meet Captain Davies. Captain Davies, sir, this here's Mr. Gardner. Did you bring any rum? Yes. Fine, let's talk. Look to your health, Captain Davies. Well, welcome to Africa, you understand. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Very kind of you. Now then, Captain. Can you give me some idea as to how many blacks your vessel will hold? 170, Mr. Gardner. <coughs> 170. 
You people seem to think this is the easiest thing in the world to do. Well, it ain't. There are ships slaving all up and down this coast. Competition, the likes of which you ain't never seen. If I can't capture enough blacks, I gotta buy them from their own chiefs. And they bring a tidy sum per head these days. Mr. Gardner, I have neither the time nor the temperament to sit here through your price-raising maneuvers. Monies will be discussed at a later date. The question now is, can you capture or buy 170 healthy blacks and deliver them to the hold of the Lord Ligonier? I'll capture some. I'll buy some. I'll fill your hold. I'll deliver. 